Hello YouTube, it's your favorite boy toy, B3, back to the kicking action figure view. Today I have a figure from a line I've never gotten before, but I saw, I saw it online and I thought, this looks like a fun little figure. Looks a lot like some of the gimmicky common Riders I get, so I picked it up from Bandai. It is the Ultra Action Figure, Ultraman Orb Dark. Yeah, so this is from Pokemon, not Pokemon, why did I say that? <laughs> from Ultraman RB, don't know where Pokemon fucking came from, but it's from Ultraman RB. You know, red, blue, Russo, blue, etc. Uh, and it's a dark version of Ultraman Orb, you know, they like to have dark versions of everybody nowadays. But, uh, he's really, really cool. Uh, I, I saw a little of him in RB. I haven't really watched RB much, but I did see some I have some clips and stuff. I thought he was really cool looking. Plus, I always liked Orb's look. I have the Orb Origin uh, figure art. Really love it. So I thought, let's get the dark, huh? But this is just like a cheaper toy. You can get them. Uh, I've seen them a few different prices. Mine was about 15 You got it from Hobby Link Japan. I'm going to show you the box here. It's got a picture of the figure on the front. It's the Ultraman RB right there, Bandai, and there's a window with the figure in it. There's Orb Dark up top, side of the box there, bottom, legal stuff, side of the box again. Or stuff on the back, and here it is posed up some on the back. But it's pretty cool, so let's pop it open. And here he is out of packaging, the Bandai Ultra Action Figure, Ultraman Orb Dark. Yeah, I really like the look of this figure. This is a nice little figure, honestly. I like this guy. I really, really like this guy. I do. I absolutely do. Uh, he's really, really cool. I feel like he's a great middle ground between the vinyl figures that have, like, the three articulation points and the figure arts that have, like, a hundred. Uh, so if you just want an articulated figure that doesn't cost a fortune, this is a great choice. This is a really great choice. It doesn't have any accessories, which is kind of fine by me. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, but uh, he does have articulation side to side on the head, a little up and down, but mostly just side to side, up and down on the arms, forward and back. You got a bicep swivel, elbow bend, you got a wrist swivel, and then it has the two finger movement like on the uh, Kamen Rider figs. Nothing on the waist or ab, but you got in and out on the legs. Pretty good in and out, actually. Forward, not much back because of his bootang. Knee bend. And then you got like a rotation up and down ankle pivot thing going on as a ball peg. So you know how it be. But uh, he's really, really nice. Like paint's very clean. You can always expect paint to be pretty clean on Bandai figures for the most part. I like the shiny red on the eyes and on the color timer. Nice black and silver and gray. And he just looks great. I could, lose, could use a little more on the back, but it doesn't really bother me to be completely honest. Uh, he's really, really cool. He's really cool, actually. I might get more of these, to be completely honest. This might be my regular for Ultraman now. Uh, this is a good line. Gee, let's put him back here so that we can compare him with... Um, shit, he doesn't want to stand. There we go. With some other Ultraman. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show him with one of the 6 inches. This is actually a newer 6 inch. I know you didn't think they were making newer 6 inches, but instead of being an Ultra Hero series, it is a Sophie Spirits... So you can see how he scales to the Sophie Spirits. He's a little smaller. Uh, so that's that, you know. It's not too bad. Uh, I mean, obviously the scaling is off. They don't scale well together, but I don't really care. I, I like the size of this figure. It's actually the same size as the figure arts. Um, I would show my Ultraman Orb Origin Form figure art, but I don't really have it handy. However, I do have this one handy. Ultra 7! See? He looks great with the figure arts. Obviously, the figure arts detail and articulation far surpass this, but the sizing is great. So if you started figure arts, or you just get a figure art every now and then, like what I do is I just get a figure art every now and then. You know, I don't need a figure art for every character. That's expensive. I just get a figure art every now and then. It's a little treat. Uh, but you want all your figures to scale together still. This line is fucking perfect. Look at that. That's a wonderful scaling. That's a really wonderful scaling. In fact, I would go as far to say that the sword that comes with the regular Ultraman Orb Origin figure art would probably 
go nicely in this dude's hand. Uh, he probably wouldn't hold it that well because, like, uh, he would probably... It, the hands with these double finger things, the hands kind of like to open up in ways they aren't supposed to. It's kind of a problem with just the way the hands are designed in general, I would say. But, um... The figure itself is really, really quite good, and I do like it. It's pretty dank. It's pretty dank memes. Uh, but I guess I should show them with some other kaiju and stuff. Uh, here's a Sajin, Iron, and the Vengebelial. Ta-da, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's show them with the kaiju. Uh, how about a Godzilla kaiju, specifically Godzilla himself from 2004? I think that looks pretty cool. This is the Bandai Creations, by the way. Hey, what up? Uh, so let's move that. But, uh... Yeah, you know, I think he looks good with other figures. I really, really do. So, uh, what are my final thoughts on the Ultra Action Figure Ultraman Orb Dark from Bandai? I'm definitely into this line now. I'm definitely into this line. I'm so glad we have an Ultraman line like this now, because we've, we've had a Kamen Rider line like this. But we've been missing an Ultraman line like this. We've had a cheap Ultraman line. We've had a really expensive Ultraman line. It's nice to have something in the middle for collectors who like their articulation but can't really afford a ton of figure arts. I have like two Ultraman figure arts. I have a bunch of Ultra Axe, but they don't make those anymore. It's really cool. Very happy to have this figure in my collection. I highly recommend it if you're an Ultraman Orb fan, Ultraman RB fan, or just an Ultraman and toy fan in general. It's a fun little toy, and it's great for kids, too. It's not just good for adult collectors. This is a great toy for kids. Great toy for kids. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. I'll see you all later.